The sight of snow might have you in the mood to add some holiday greenery. But picking your Christmas tree might look a little different this year. John Lorson visited a tree farm in Ramsey to find out how our dry summer is impacting the selection. First week of October, we're starting to really get things in shape. Tis the season at Hanson Tree Farm. It's the eve of opening day, and there's plenty of work to do to get ready. We have 40 acres here in Ramsey. Uh, 25 is in Christmas trees. Brothers David and Mark run the farm, which has been a family business for 70 years. They have about 10,000 Christmas trees ready to be cut, but this year will be different. Prices will be up slightly due to drought. It was brutal. The trees this year didn't grow as much, the big trees, and uh, so it was really brutal is the word. Ideally during the growing season, their trees would get about an inch of rain a week, but the Hansons say they got just one inch of rain over a three-month stretch. As a result, about 10% of the trees they planted the past two years were lost. This balsam fir shows the impact the drought had on tree farms. It was planted two years ago, but because it didn't survive the summer, it'll have to be replaced. This was the worst I'd ever seen. Um, if we didn't have irrigation, basically, I don't think any of the trees we planted this year would have survived. They're worried the loss could lead to a Christmas tree shortage in future years. Still, last year was a record year, and they're expecting more of the same this season. Customers who show up this early are being encouraged to buy fir trees. Now is a good time to do it. Any of the fir species hold their needles, so that's not an issue. Uh, a spruce, if you're looking for a spruce, don't get it until Thanksgiving. In Ramsey, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The Hanson say if you buy a tree now and don't want to put it up yet, you can wrap it in tarp and then leave it in the shade until you're ready.